remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Alvin Kennett was just 22 years old when he stole $50.75 from a bakery. That theft cost Alvin 36 years of his life. Family, did you hear me? 36 years for stealing out of a bakery. This happened in 1984 because Alvin was a four-time felon. The judge had no choice but to sentence him to life without parole under the Habitual Felony Offender Act. 36 years for stealing bakery products. Alvin has to be one of the luckiest men in the world after receiving so much bad luck for so many years. Alvin's case by chance came across a judge's desk and that judge saw that it was a travesty for a man to be in prison for life without parole for stealing $50.75 from a bakery. So the judge did what any reasonable person would do. He went in any reasonable person with the power that he has. He went in and he changed the sentence. You see, these judges have a lot of power and they can use it for good when they want to. He changed that sentence and Alvin is now coming home. Now, this uh, Habitual Felony Offender Act actually was enacted back in 2000, but Alvin wasn't able to take advantage of it because it wasn't retroactive, meaning that because his uh, case happened before the act took place or you know the changes took place, he wasn't able to be freed from jail. So his sentence wasn't changed. But man, that's a cold game, man. 36 years, the man did 36 years for stealing bakery products. I tell you, man, people without moral flexibility scare the hell out of me. That judge had the latitude to change that law. I will not change the law, but he had the latitude to change that sentence. Alvin's case coming across the judge's desk and the judge having the conscience, the heart, to go in and change that man's case and set him free. It reminds me of an old saying, God works in mysterious ways. No more talk. What the talking about? Yeah.